okay, what's up, everyone? I got another great launcher for you. This one is a Microsoft launcher from the Google Play Store. Very easy to get to. Though, when you first get it, it won't look anything like mine, but I'm going to show you how I set mine up. And, you know, maybe you don't even like mine. Maybe you have a better idea. And you can, you know, use your own idea or well, ideas you may have. Okay, so by default, right, this came blank with a few icons on the front, I mean, on the home, on this screen right here, and a search bar on top. So what I did was I removed the search bar, I removed the icons that were on the front, I added my own icons and two widgets on the top. So the top widget on the top left-hand side you'll see is a clock widget. On the right, I have a Netflix widget where you see the pictures of Full House. I could actually click that wheel right there on the front and get new ideas, right? Or I can go straight into Netflix by clicking on the picture. So I don't even need that uh, Netflix icon on the bottom, but, you know, I just do it there also anyway. So, you know, underneath that, you can see I got a lot of choice icons I like or whatever. And I have my bottom row right here. Now, what's cool about this is you can lift this up and you have an extra row of icons and settings down here on the bottom, which are hidden, right? So you can hit escape, come out of there. And like I said, pretty much by default, all of this is blank. I added the wallpaper using our 4K wallpapers, also from the Google Play Store in the 3D section. I chose my wallpaper. Maybe you might want to choose something different. And I dragged all my icons on the front from my app drawer right here. You go into the back. As you can see, they're all alphabetized. You can click on the letters and bring you to different sections, or you can just scroll up and down. Um, this would be preferably use with a mouse or you know a wireless mouse or a mini keyboard but um like i said you can also come up here you can click on the top type in the app you want easily and um you know no problem one two three click on that go to it so i'm going to hit escape so that's how i would um you know get to my apps but like i said i wanted to show you how to drag them to the home screen so what we would do is let's say i wanted to bring antivirus to the home screen i would left click it Let's say a mini keyboard, you know, you have the left click button on the far left hand side. I will left click it and move my finger, like move it around with the mouse. And then it would assume that I want to go to the home screen as long as I click and move it. If I only click it, right, like if I just click it, no motion, I will get these options. So see, as I have it on the home screen, I didn't really want it here, so I would remove it, right? But in the same motion, I could easily move it around any way I wanted to on the screen. So that's how I got all my apps on the front screen. A lot of people sometimes ask me about widgets. Well, some apps come with widgets, some don't, but I'm going to show you where to find them, right? So this is the 3D digital clock, and this is Netflix, which both come with widgets, right? So what I did was I did a long hold on the home screen right here and with the left click button, and I got these options down here, add widget, uh, launcher settings, get feedback, wallpaper, and I clicked on add widget. So in here, you can scroll up and down through it if you want, but I know what I'm looking for. So let's say if I go to the end, I got my Netflix widget right here. So just like I showed you how to drag the app from the back to the front and the app drawer, I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to really mess up the setup I have and move things around. So you would just left click it, move it with your arrow, the cursor, you know, and it would drag it to the home screen. The screen would change. You'll see it dragging it to the home screen. You'll let it go. It'll say, do you want to add this here? You click OK and you're all set. So that's how you would do that. But the reason why I, I think this is very, very much similar to Nova Launcher is because if I were to go into the settings of the app, you can see it's very it's very well customizable, just like Nova Launcher. So I can click right there, or I can click on that uh, blue settings wheel that was on the bottom in the same uh, folder. And pretty much I can come in here and change the wallpaper, system settings. Uh, I can change accounts for Microsoft. I can back up and restore. I could do my personalizations, I could uh, check fees, gestures, search, uh, general settings uh, about Microsoft, and pretty much, I mean, look, I have an extra page over here where I kept my uh, other launchers in case I want to switch the, you know, I'm going to go to a different setup, go to some Android or the Digi Launcher like I showed you guys in my other video, or I want to do some Word documents and things of that nature, I got my extra apps back here. Or I could delete this extra page and only have that page over there so I don't, you know, cause any type of confusion um, for myself. I'm a new user and sometimes, you know, you have a mouse and your thing switches back and forth like this all day, that type of thing going on. You know, you can just um, come over here or anywhere, right? Long hold where there's not an icon. Well, maybe not there, right? Let me go back over. <laughs> Swipe back over. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the long hold. 
Now, let's say if I wanted to get rid of this page, to say it was blank, I had nothing on it. I wanted to get rid of it. I would just uh, come right here. Hold on. I'm trying to actually like grab the page. I'm trying to long hold the page. So I'm going to go with this no icons. I'm going to try it again. Uh, it seems at this moment I can't do it. But you get the picture. I would just move it up towards the X. And when I see red, let it go. And that would delete that whole extra page right there. Usually, I guess it works better when there's nothing on it. <laughs> but you get the picture. So, you know, to get this is, um, you know, in the Google Play Store. It's called the Microsoft Launcher. Very cool launcher. Very well customizable. Um, if it's too complicated or you want to see it done from scratch, I can do that. Um, let me know. But that's it for this one. That's the Microsoft Launcher, and I'm out.